Hello everyone. So today I wanted to share a quick metaphor that can help you understand the four judging functions in Myers-Briggs, Socionics, Carl Jung's cognitive functions. Um, I personally sort of define them or think of them all the same. And I would say that, you know, Socionics, Myers-Briggs are just two different ways of interpreting the shared human phenomenon of having eight cognitive functions and 16 archetypes of human uh, cognition. So I think one way to think about it is to, this metaphor is to think about a business. There are different things to consider for a business to be successful. There are internal things to consider and there are external things to consider. There are logical things to consider and there are also um, values to consider. So um, there is extroverted feeling, introverted feeling, extroverted thinking, and introverted thinking. To me, extroverted feeling, but actually let me start with so, okay, it's easier for me to start with extroverted feeling, right? Because that's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and start with it. Extroverted feeling. Do people care? Do they care? Do they know about what you have to offer? Do they value what you have to offer? Extroverted thinking. Does it work? Does the product do what you said it was going to do? Are you sharing facts? Um, introverted thinking. Um, does this make sense? Introverted feeling. <clears throat> does this align with my values? So let me actually pick an example. Let's say that you're doing a startup and you have, sorry, I didn't think too much about this before I was gonna go, but okay, let's say you're doing a startup and you have a product idea. TE would be the mechanism or the, the need to make sure that it does what you said it was going to do. Like, let's say if it is a this is weird, but like a back scratcher that you order like on Amazon. Is it a back scratcher? Is it actually what you said it was? If someone got it and it was not a back scratcher or it didn't work, it would be like, what the hell? I wasted my money. Like, how dare you say it was one thing when it was not that thing? Or, uh, but then TI would be a more like, wait a minute, I got this back scratcher, but it's a piece of crap, it broke instantly. Um, but then the TE is, well, it's still a back scratcher. It is at least what they said it was. It's just not a very high quality one. So TI is about quality. TI is, okay, let's make this user friendly. Let's make this um, really, really work. Let's make this like the best product we ever can do. Like. Um, and you know, TI is efficient in that way because more people are going to buy the thing if it is high quality. Um, and see, that's how TI and FE are connected. Um, so TI is like, let's, let's really make this the best back scratcher it is. And TE is just more like, is it a back scratcher? Yes or no. Let's at least make sure that we're delivering what we say that we're going to deliver. Um, and then FE is, who cares if you made a back scratcher? This is not a value, or is it a value? Like, let's do some market research. Let's see if people care. Um, let's not waste our time making something that people don't want, because then that's a waste of our time. I've noticed a lot of people think that marketing is um, manipulation or mind games or tricks. And I think that's because people overall in society underestimate the value of FE, they don't understand it as a power. And so what you don't understand is scary. Um, if you don't understand that the way that emotions influence behavior in a very macro predictable way, then I get how that could be kind of scary. And I personally believe that, you know, most FJs are women and a lot of this goes hand in hand with the way, uh, 
that people treat women in society. Um, and a lot of times that power is not really acknowledged or understood. It's like what you don't understand then becomes scary and something to fear. So you might be thinking, oh, well, marketing might be, um, you know, marketing might be emotional manipulation. Well, it's only, it's only a problem for two reasons. TI, um, is it, is it true? Like, are you being authentic in what you're saying? Like, are you inflating the truth at all? Or are you giving, are you saying it's super great and then you're giving a low quality product? Um, or whenever there's a, a bad FI sort of ul ulterior motive, because the importance of FI in this uh, like business example is if there were like, you know, poor morals in uh, the organization or bad intentions, maybe you're only selling or maybe you're selling this back scratcher and you are it's made with slave, uh, slave labor like overseas and you're exploiting people while you're doing it. But hey, it's at least a back scratcher. Oh, hey, the people want it. Hey, it's high quality. Without that FI of um, doing the thing with moral, like good intention, it doesn't really matter. And so what I'm trying to illustrate here is that there are situations in life that require sort of uh, you to check your F-E-T-E, T-I, and F-I. And if, uh, for example, if you wanted to, if you wanted to have a business or if you wanted to sell something, um, all four of those areas have to be considered. And if you, you know, you're just one person, you probably only are, um, you know, you have one judging function that you prefer. Um, I'm not saying that only FE users can be marketers or only, you know, TI users are quality assurance people or only FI users have morals or any of that. But I want you guys to see these sort of archetypes as ideas in a society that govern our actions and understand how each four or all four of those things are important in the grand scheme of things. And if you miss out on one of those things, then everything, uh, everything sucks. So for me, I have a business. And for me, my issue is TE. Uh, I know that people care about it. It's very high quality and it is very, it's done with moral intention. My struggle is knowing how to precisely say exactly what I am uh, what I'm giving in a way that makes sense so that people know exactly what to expect and so that when people purchase a coaching session with me or something they know exactly what they're getting themselves into and they can and they receive it and they're said yeah that's exactly what I ordered um, and that is because TE communication is a lot harder for me um, but it's important, and so what I'm doing is I'm asking TE users for help to help me with that. Uh, but that doesn't mean that I, as an FJ, that I'm never going to be able to cover my my tracks in that area. So, so yeah, this uh, hopefully this little metaphor helped uh, you guys think about the functions in a different way, and I think these functions show up in all sectors of life. Uh, I mean, personal, business, government. Um, it's really interesting to see these aspects play out and you can start to see how a lot of the arguments that humans have been having ever since the dawn of time have had to do with, you know, people pushing for one that wasn't really considered by the other and them sort of taking it as a personal attack. Um, because people, as an FE dominant, I can tell when people have not done their due diligence when it comes to FE, but other people can tell whenever I have not done my due, due diligence when it comes to TE and other, um, other things. Uh, but you know, that's why teamwork is important. That's why we help each other. That's why not every personality, 
um, that exists is the same. That's why we have differences. So, but each of these are important and you cannot do anything without all of those things. Because it, like I said, if you were to start a business and you know, it was high quality and it like, let's say you, if you missed out on the FI, like I said, you would have like some shady business practices. If you missed out on the TE, you wouldn't be able to communicate uh, what it is you're offering very well, no matter how much people want it. If you're missing on FE, then people won't want it. And you, you could have the most high intention thing and you're communicating it well and perhaps you're a great business person, but the market just isn't there. Um, or like with if you're missing out on TI, you know it's what people want, you've communicated it well, but the actual product itself is just not up to par. It's just not high quality, it's just not worth the money. Um, so these are things to consider. I don't personally believe that anyone can succeed or go or do anything without considering all of these things. And I'm not saying, I mean, you could try, but what you'll see is reality hitting you in the face on that area that you weren't thinking about enough. So comment below if you have any experiences with this, uh, with reality sort of hitting you in the face. And if you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I have those links below. Hopefully this metaphor helped you and thank you for watching.